festivals. There will always be a reason to celebrate and be merry. Good climate, a bountiful harvest, safety and protection from harm, thanksgiving to religious deities and the powers above, leading to a celebration of good fortune and prosperity. Another season rolled by, reaping in more produce than last. The joy that life has been sweet and the hope of an even more promising season to come. A province like Laguna, with a total population of nearly 2 million people and comprised of four major cities and 26 towns, each one with a trademark natural resource or native product to call their own, has all the right reasons to celebrate and make merry. Abundance, progress, the good life. Welcome to La Laguna. Welcome to the Festival of Life. The La Laguna Festival was first launched in 2011 and conceived by Laguna's provincial governor, George E.R. Ejercito Estregan. A celebration of rapid economic growth and progress, as well as an advocacy to honor the rehabilitation and preservation of the Laguna de Bay, the third largest living lake in Asia, which also serves as the province's main natural attraction. The pilot event proved to be such a success, it was awarded the Philippines' Best Tourism Event of 2011. Such a successful festival only called for a sequel, bigger and better. Ten days, four cities, 26 towns, one grand festival. So what does one see and do in a festival of this scale? A festival would not be one without dancing on the streets. A lot of dancing. And with 26 towns participating, each one more colorful than the last, each representing a cultural spectacle of its own, a street party of this size resembles a carnival Mardi Gras. Tamer, perhaps, but just as vibrant and festive. And slightly more competitive. Ah, food. Eat, drink, and be merry. What would a festival in the Philippines be without food, and a lot of it? So much food, enough to feed an entire town. In the first La Laguna Festival in 2011, a 250-pound colossal rice cake, locally known as puto, was baked and shared with thousands of participants. The following year staged a similar concoction, only this time, instead of the native rice cake, they used cassava to create a massive-sized nilupak, a native Laguna delicacy. This giant cake was formed in the shape of the entire province of Laguna, with divided portions representing each town and city. In addition, a contest was staged for the best-tasting nilupak, where contenders battled it out for the best with their own respective recipes and added ingredients. Purple yam versus colored candy toppings versus grated coconut versus cheese? A panel of judges were lucky enough to taste each one and decide on the best one. Here, cheese-flavored nilupak took the trophy. Let's see what next year's festival will cook up. In addition to being an ideal venue for culinary showcase and gastronomic feast, the La Laguna Festival is also an opportunity to learn more about and taste the fruits of labor and pride 
of each town. There are the culinary towns, the ones known for cooking up delicacies that are uniquely their own. The city of Binyan is known for its fluffy rice cake, covered in cheese, locally known as puto. Visitors and motorists often swing by the cities of Los Baños and Calamba for a box of baked coconut pie or cassava cake to bring home. Santa Cruz takes pride in its very own cottage cheese made from unskimmed carabao's milk, simply referred to as queson puti. If yours is more of a savory sort of craving in your palate, then head over to the duck capital of Laguna, Victoria. A favorite local delicacy is the fried duck, boiled for several hours and then deep fried to a crisp, along with several herbs and spices like tamarind, onion, and garlic. While you're at it, make sure to have a taste of red salted eggs fresh from Victoria's duck farms. Towns like Pakil, Paite, Calawan, and Rizal are bountiful with seasonal tropical fruits like rambutan, lanzones, pineapples, and bananas, all of which are in high demand for both local and international markets. Places that are rich and diverse in natural resources are often known for the ingenuity and resourcefulness exemplified in their products and crafts. The town of Louisiana had taken to crafting bags and mats from its abundance of pandan trees. While the fibers from the rattan trees in Mabitak are used to produce hammocks, chairs, and other furniture. Paite and Pakil are also known for their excellent craftsmanship in wood carving, wood shaving, and paper mache. Lilu, or the land of slippers, is where you find fashionable and good quality sandals and shoes skillfully handwoven from abaca fibers. If you are one who fancies evening wear with intricate and traditional embroidery, then you must visit the town of Lumban and see for yourself. The people of Laguna, or Lagunenos, take pride in the meticulous skills from honing their respective crafts. A grand sagala was held for Laguna's best fashion designers to display their excellence in fashion design and compete for the title of best fashion designer of Laguna. Each one with a statuesque muse on stage, parading the product of their skilled artistry and creative use of native materials. So how about taking the fashion parade to the streets? Rain or shine, a provincial festival wouldn't be complete without the tradition of processions and float parades. And of course, beauty pageants. Beautiful and graceful, adorned with beaming smiles and glittering gowns, everyone on stage looked like a winner. How does one judge these things? Indeed, the same goes for the men. In this festival, the activities have equal opportunity and the festival ensures everyone has a chance to show the world the best that they have and have fun at the same time. Who says only the young ones take center stage? Grandmothers and grandfathers in their respective competitive categories float across the stage in their finest evening wear, croon to classic tunes, and dance like in abandon. The stage, it seems, is timeless. Here, age simply doesn't matter.
So when they said there is something for everyone in the Lalaguna festival, they did mean everyone. Surely even the furry ones would not be left out. Dogs of varying breeds and sizes took part in the festival's dog show and racing competition. Fancy yourself more as a wheel enthusiast than an animal lover? The Volkswagen Village was a showcase of various models of the much-loved car brand. From the well-known Beetle to the hippie icon Van, otherwise known as the Combi. If you like vintage cars or fancy yourself a Beetle fan, well, the Volkswagen Village could give you quite a spin. Even two-wheeled riders get their share of excitement. Hundreds of cyclists participated in an easy bicycle race. Zipping through several kilometers of lush natural scenery and riding past keen spectators on the sidelines. While in the provincial capital, eager participants in wheelchairs raced to the finish line at the festival's first ever Paralympics. The La Laguna Festival was also a celebration of its local talent and creativity in the visual arts. A three-dimensional street painting competition exhibited the creativity and talent of Laguna's young artists. Green Thumbs would certainly enjoy the landscape exhibit. Not only were various ornamental plants and flowers, such as orchids, used, the exhibit inspired a useful style of fashioning herbs and vegetables for beautiful garden arrangements. Folks keen on capturing life's moments in an instant participated in a photography contest and their works were proudly displayed in the contest exhibit. This celebration of audio and visual artistry culminated in a film showing of short, independent movies that were written, directed and produced by students in the different academic institutions of Laguna. Tired yet? The festivities don't end here. With a few days left, there is still much to do and much to see at the La Laguna Festival. Even the festival participants are keen on how the rest of the week will unfold. After months of training and laborious effort in preparation for their cultural performances. For the dancers of the Sining Katutubo Dance Assembly, there is joy and pride in doing what they love and the cultural identity it may represent. Hailed as the third largest living lake in Asia, the W-shaped Laguna de Bay is enveloped by two peninsulas, its central lobe filling the volcanic Laguna Caldera. This body of freshwater measures a total area of 911 square meters and is reckoned to be the primary source of freshwater fish in the Philippines. It also serves as a water source for a neighboring hydroelectric power plant, irrigation water, and a temporary reservoir when other connecting water dams overflow beyond capacity. This crater lake, attractive in its own natural beauty and tranquility, has certainly figured in the economic growth and progress of the province of Laguna. On the festival's final day, a fluvial float parade took place on the Santa Cruz River to promote the Catholic tradition of honoring saints. Others opted to paddle through the river on smaller boats, racing to be the fastest. Twenty teams from different towns and cities joined the 300-meter boat race along the Santa Cruz River. 
while a dragon boat competition created a splash of excitement on the river of Bugsan Hub. So with such numerous festivities and contests, how does one not have fun and be merry in the La Laguna Festival? A lot of dancing, a lot of food, a lot of talent and creativity. A bit of something for everyone. La Laguna! La La Laguna! La Laguna! The Festival of Life! Mago Laguna! For anyone who wishes to celebrate the prosperity of the province of Laguna. For anyone who thinks life is good. The La Laguna Festival is a celebration of life. See you at the next one.